Club, you need to have an S on your costume. Doesn't that mean anyone could join if they had a costume? Not just like super people? I think non super people would melt if they wore super clothes. Oh. Criteria for Super Club. Welcome aboard, Super Newbie. Here's your induction pack, complete with membership brick. Word of advice, don't try to eat that. Ugh. Super evil blueprints that ought to show dad I've got what it takes to. Hey, how long have you been standing there? You're gonna give me away. Well, since you're already here, maybe you can help me search this place for those blueprints. Let's go. I'll check over here. They should be in a drawer or safe or something. S search everywhere. Rats, 
They must have split the plans up and hidden the other pieces somewhere else. They can't be far. Keep looking. should be the last of them. You've done this whole trashing furniture thing before, haven't you? I found this while I was searching. I heard you've been looking for them. Word of advice, pal. When they say don't feed the birds, do not feed the birds! Something's wrong with them around here! The edges are real hard and cold to the touch, and that creepy, vacant stare! <sighs> I don't like to throw words like genetic enhancements around, but... Ah! You hear that? They're... They're here! Ah, get them off of me! Get them off of me! Get them off of me! Leave me alone! but there are still people in trouble. Ooh, sounds like a job for super noob to me. See if you can find the others, okay? <laughs> These poor people. All they ever wanted was to revel in the glory of our super deeds. Is that so wrong? <laughs> I sent Superboy out to find more people in distress, but he's been gone a while. Hmm, probably goofing off in the gift shop again. I'm glad to see you. I was helping someone out and those villain jerks got the jump on me. Help me out, would you? Hey, don't tell Supergirl about this, okay? She'll take away my awareness club badge.
well done, super noob. Ooh, and to put a positive slant on things, there is nothing quite like being rescued by a genuine superhero to bring some authenticity to a guided tour about superheroes. Am I right, everyone? Okay, they're clearly still in shock. Thanks, guys. Bye. A tour group has been reported missing since yesterday, and my gut's telling me it's something to do with those overly satisfied customers hanging around the Mad Hatter's new hat shop. I mean, have you ever seen anyone that excited about a hat who wasn't being mind-controlled? Knocking their hats off ought to be enough to snap them out of their trance. Everybody, nicely done. I'll make sure they get home safely, avoiding any catastrophes along the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Here, I've got something for you. Don't worry, it's not a hat. Though, if you want to put it on your head, then hey, who am I to judge? You think you're a superhero, do ya? Well, I've seen squirrels more heroic than you. I've been watching you, Costume Crusader, and I have to say, I don't think you've been tapping into your full potential. No, no, not at all. We need to up the ante, raise the stakes, sweeten the pot! Prove to me that you're worthy of the title Superhero! What a thrilling display! The delectable drama, the whimsical gadgets, the dubious but comfortingly familiar sound effects! Artificial intelligence. But the cheeky beggars got too big for their boots and went off to start villainous empires of their own. If you can trick them defiant drones into coming back, then I can screwdrive that independence right back out of them. <laughs> Make sure they get here in one piece. They've got a habit of getting themselves blown up. Tin cans are getting the rewiring of their lives when I get my flippers on them! <laughs> Time to get me screwdriver out. I'm 
it on all for the little blighter's wreaking havoc. But so help me, they're gonna do it in a nice, orderly fashion! <laughs> Here's a little something I heard through the grapevine. That Swamp Thing fella's a real stick in the mud when it comes to the ladies. But I've always liked a challenge, darling. Just get me close enough, and there's no way he'll be able to resist my allure. You know I'm no garden variety girl. What do you take me for, a sap? He'll just lead me down the garden path. Hmm. This could take a while. I'll take it from here, Petal. Thanks for the help. I'll never stop fighting. A minute to help me out? <laughs> Playing hard to get won't help you, Swamp Thing. I'm as tenacious as a weed. to smell the roses, my sweet, and... Wait, that's it. It would seem I've overdone it on the pheromones. If I had something pungent enough, maybe I could... You, since you've been eavesdropping this whole time, perhaps you could find something? 
Whatever you find, it needs to be strong enough to knock his bark off. Maybe you could cook something sufficiently stinky up in the lab. Well, roses are red, violets are blue. And this rose is about to set its thorns on you. Ivy, but I've written you a song. Here goes. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> you... Oh, 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 great garden gnomes! What is that smell? Oh, oh, you're right. That's simply vile. Now, how did you say that song went? What? Oh, leave me be, will you? Oh, oh, it's making my bark crawl. Oh, Swampy, you're back. Thanks for the help, sweetie. Though next time... <laughs> Maybe bring a peg as well. Fear circuses thing. Maybe I should talk to someone. Jeez, nobody takes me seriously. I wish there was someone I could talk to. I just feel like no one appreciates all the heroic stuff I do, you know? With all due respect, sir, we've partaken in little to no heroism since we've been here. That's all well and good, Skeets. But I think I need to talk to a professional. <laughs> Time to join me for my first nature document. <clears throat> Here we see the chicken trousered trickster laying traps for his prey, unsuspecting tourists, eyeballing cheap souvenirs. While the trickster is unlikely to eat his victims, he will readily watch them cry if someone doesn't help them avoid his traps. One of the prey have escaped the trickster's trap. Oh, he's not going to like this one bit. Yes, and 
another civilian narrowly dodges humiliation at the hands of the trickster. This is exciting stuff. Do you think? Please say yes. At least to me. Help! The hunt of failure, the yellow-haired trickster retires, dejected to its lair. The little trickster cubs will likely go unamused tonight, but that's okay because they probably haven't done their homework yet anyway. The wandering superhero, on the other hand, gets to claim a tremendous bounty. visit to this really nice shrink over at the Hall of Doom, and she told me that if I'm ever gonna put my tragic past behind me, I need to face it head on by hosting an epic circus performance in the style of the one where I lost my entire family. Morbid, maudlin, magnificent. So step right up. It's time to trapeze the pain away. Some pretty strong feelings right now. That's good, Bird Brain. This is the first step to recovery. Now you just need to put this show on every night for a uh, what about 50 years or so? Then you'll be certifiably sane! 50 years? Wait a sec. Was all this just to give you a free trip to the circus? <laughs> Feels like a serious violation. I think I'm gonna need more therapy. Riddle me this, riddle me that. A cunning conundrum I've pulled from my hat. Think you can solve this riddle? Ah, go on. It's not like you have anything better to be doing. There might be a shiny prize in it for you. What? You think you're getting the prize for solving that? That was just a warm-up. Try this one on for size. Very nice. Uh -oh. You're gonna have to give me one more if you want the goods. <laughs> Given your old gray matter quite the workout there. Or maybe I just made things a little too easy for you. I must be going soft my old age. Since I'm in such a giving mood, here's a bonus riddle for you. How many gold bricks does it take to complete a building made entirely of gold bricks? Huh? Just the last one. <laughs> I will strike terror into the 